Hey guys, this is Ken from jazzsound.com and today we'll be reviewing the Panerai Radio Mirror 1940s. The reference number for this watch is PAM 572. We'll be going over the price, the dial, bezel, case, crown, strap, buckle, and we'll talk about the movement towards the end of the video. Okay, so as of May 2018, you can get this watch from an authorized Panerai retailer for $10,200 plus tax. Or you can come here to jazzham.com and have to see the most up-to-date pricing for this watch. Okay, so moving right into the dial now. So we have a typical Panerai dial, just index hour markers, Arabic numerals, and a 369, sometimes a 12. Specifically for this one, of course, it has the 12 Arabic numeral. Absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful dial. This is a sandwich style dial. Uh, Panerai has two different style dials, sandwich style being one of them, the other one is a painted. So what it means by sandwich style dial is that there's actually two dials on this watch. There's a lower lower portion of the dial that's luminous filled. And then the second dial, that's the second portion of the dial sits on top of that luminous uh, that luminous bottom dial, creating the sort of like uh, creating sort of a layered structure like a sandwich. And you can see as I tilt the watch over to the side, you can see that sort of extra dimension that's added. You can see the raised raised portion of the hour markers and the Arabic numerals at 3, 6, 9, and 12. Just absolutely gorgeous because it makes the dial absolutely gorgeous because of that sort of extra dimension to it. Whereas, as I mentioned before, the other style dial would be the, uh, panora uh, the painted dial, which is just simply the luminosity just painted onto the black surface of the dial. Uh, which, not to say is a bad thing, but uh, the sandwich dial is personally my favorite and it just looks absolutely gorgeous in this case. Uh, specifically for the, the color of the the color of the dial, we have what's called sort of a creamy, creamy colored dial. Um, it's actually a throwback to sort of the older style vintage models of, what, of the uh, Panerais, which used a tritium a luminosity coating. The tritium was used in vintage, uh, vintage watches to provide luminosity, but over time, that tritium was a beautiful white, so it slowly starts to fade into this sort of creamy color, and that's what the Radimir 1940s tried to mimic, is that they tried to mimic that nice creamy brown color, sort of like a coffee color uh, for the hour markers. And then you can see that on the hands as well. The second sub dial located at the nine o'clock position, Okay. Uh, one other thing is that the auto, the automatic well it used to be closer to the six o'clock position in previous previous radio mirror models, and they've actually raised it up a little bit because uh, because of the extra dial dial real estate. And what I mean by extra dial real estate is that the previous radio radio mirror 1940s models uh, used to have a 42 millimeter case size, uh, 42 millimeter case size, but now there, this watch is a 45 millimeter case size. So from my index finger to my thumb, that's a 45 millimeter in diameter case size now. Bezel still a very beautiful high polish that matches along with the pretty much the whole high polish of the case. The case itself is actually uh, very durable, very sturdy because they've actually machined it out of just one piece of uh, one piece of the AISI 316L steel instead of having a separate portion from the from the lugs to the case. It's just one fully machined case, and just absolutely adds to the durability and stability of the watch. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. So for the th thickness of the watch, as I've mentioned, that the case size is a 45 millimeter case size. Uh, the case size of this, the thickness of the case has actually been slimmed down from previous radio, radio mirror models. The thickness of this watch is a 12.2 millimeter case thickness, whereas the original radio mirror 1940s were a 15 millimeter, um, 15 millimeter size case. Now, 12.2 12 doesn't seem like very much in terms of just in general, just watch models, but three millimeters, almost three millimeters th difference from the previous generation models to this generation model. Um, that's actually quite substantial and it actually sits, sits and feels much, much nicer on the wrist. One thing to mention is that the crystal, the crystal is a nice flatter crystal as well as compared to some things like the Luminors. Uh, have more of a dome crystal. This this crystal sits much uh, sits flatter on the dial, but still raised. Okay. All right. So moving on to the crown now. 
the crown is just a screw down crown simply unscrews counterclockwise as shown okay in this final in this standard position rather the center position allows you to wind the watch for um, from a desktop you only need to wind the watch about 15 to 20 winds is all you need clockwise um, pulling a crown out to the next position Oops. apologize Let me... there we are okay pulling the crown out to the next position will stop the second hand uh, second hand and the second sub dial at the nine o'clock position and allow you to set the time precisely such as to an atomic clock online you can set it down to the exact seconds of course the hands move by directionally as well Pressing the crown back in, we'll start that second sub dial once more. As you can see, it's already starting to move. And always make sure to screw the crown nice and tight in against the case, as you want to keep this watch water resistance uh, for up to 100 meters or 330 feet. All right, moving on to the strap now. Strap is just a very beautiful black alligator uh, black alligator leather strap. The stitching on the str on stitching on the strap, you can see, is not that it's not like a pure white coloring. It's got that creamy color to match the dial that, as I mentioned before, that sort of creamy color tritium. All right, and here is the back side of the strap. You can see the official. Let me flip that over for you. Official Panerai name that right there, stamped into the strap itself with the Italy. course and for the buckle portion it's just a very simple tang buckle nicely high polished as well panorama name embossed on there for the movement the movement is housed in this beautiful case backing uh, unfortunately I do have to block out the block out some portions of the back casing as that does provide information about the watch as a serial a serial number a model number and such uh, but besides that that's where it would be located is where the white stickering is we have the water resistance with the little fish embossed on there as well stainless steel embossed on the 6 o'clock position and the official panorama name embossed at the 12 o'clock position and that houses the movement and it's beautiful with a translucent sapphire sapphire crystal has a mini oscillator as you can see the movement itself is a uh, movement made by Panerai's, their in-house made P, uh, P4000 caliber movement. It has a 72 hour power reserve, so meaning you could put this watch down on a Friday evening, pick it back up on a Monday afternoon, and it'll be keeping time just fine. Alright, so let me actually go ahead and show you this watch on my wrist now. Wait one second. All right, so there's the watch. There's the watch on my wrist. As you can see, that that dial, that sandwich dial, absolutely gorgeous with that creamy, that creamy color, the high polish, really bringing out the face of the watch. That black alligator leather strap, even working with that contrasting of the black, the black dial, that stainless steel, and that creamy color stitch, stitching all around. Okay. Even though this watch is 45 millimeters, it doesn't feel heavy on my wrist. It doesn't feel like it's taking up too much of my feeling like it's taking too much of my wrist. But you can definitely feel the watch on your wrist. It's not as sort of a stressful. Oh, this is too heavy. This actually just fits absolutely perfectly. As you can see from the side profile, it doesn't sit too high on the wrist either, being that 12.2 millimeters, as I've said before, as the previous models were a 15 millimeter thickness. Okay, so if you're interested in this watch or any other model for the lowest possible price, check out our website at jazzham.com with the lowest prices guaranteed. We offer you a one-year warranty. If you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe below. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys soon. If you want to find out more about the watch you just saw in the video, you can just click below on show more to see the full description. Then you can check the link next to model as seen in video, click on it, and you will get to the proper page where you can see all the details. If you're watching on a mobile phone, you have to click on the arrow down on the right hand side below the video to see the full description. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to share this video with your friends, you can use the share button below and share it on any platform you like. If you have questions, constructive feedback, want to tell us about some mistakes or misspeaks, just write a comment below. 
you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe to our channel and visit our channel page where you can find all the videos. And if you're interested in a specific watch brand, you can check out our playlists. If you want to check the price for a watch or want to buy one, remember at jazztime.com you always get a steep discount. So you should check the prices with us. If you want to know the price for a specific watch, just go to Google, type in jazz time, plus the brand, model, and the details you're interested in, and Google will find the right page for you. Thank you for watching.